In this video, I'll show you a couple of creative ways you can use adjustment layers in Filmora 12. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Some of the creative ways you're going to discuss here can save you a ton of time, especially when you have to do repetitive tasks. So let's open up a new project and let's say we go to stock media and we look for some footage. Let's say, uh, let's go with this one. Just drag it here. And then let's add this one here. And then let's add uh, this particular footage. So let's zoom to fit. And let's do a quick scenario here. Let's split this particular clip right there. Just split a ton of times uh, to the different clips here. Just keep splitting. And then we can just let this one be somewhere there. Uh, and we can actually just continue with the split. Now, if you'd like to add, let's assume, actually let's move this one to the end here, or even delete this, and then have this one somewhere here. Uh, let's assume, let's make an assumption that you want, oh, control Z, let's make an assumption that you want to add a blur effect to all these clips. Now, to do that, you can go to effects, and then look for the blur effect. So uh, let's press on enter and we're going to get the blur effect. So what happens is once you get this, you need to apply it to all individual clips over and over again. That is really tiresome. But a simple way is that you can come up to the media adjustment layer, then add the adjustment layer right inside there and then drag it all the way to the end to where you want to add your blur effect then go to effects let's look for the blur press on enter and once you locate it just drag and drop that effect right inside there if we play this video there we go there's our blur affecting all clips on the timeline that are down here now a quick note is that when the adjustment layer is already added to the timeline, all the media that is below the adjustment layer is going to be affected by whatever effects or whatever changes you make to the adjustment layer. It actually gives a very cool effect right here and you can change uh, the settings when you uh, look through here, probably change like the opacity uh, so that you get some clearer view somewhere there. Uh, not so much of the blurriness, but still looks good. So. Number one, it's going to save you time when applying repetitive uh, like effects and so on and so forth. Next up, let me show you something. Uh, let's assume you have two clips here. Uh, let's go to the media and add an adjustment layer right about there. Do you know that you can add transitions to an adjustment layer? Let's go to transitions. And then we look at whatever transition is available and once we get it, we're going to add it right here. So let's say we do a warp zoom and you can add it there. So we have it right there. So even before you get to where the two clips are, we can have a warp zoom. Let's play. There we go. And if you actually wanted to do that over and over again, you can replicate this as much as you want. So it's really, really awesome that you can actually, instead of adding even the, uh, the transition in between like the clips right here you add it to the uh, adjustment layer and you save yourself a ton of time so we can look for another one let's say dissolve we have dissolve somewhere right here and then we play this let's see how it looks like there we go there is the dissolve uh, let's look for a more dramatic one something that is going to let's say this wormhole uh, let's see, let's just give it a quick download and then we can just add it here. Let's replace this. So uh, there we go. Play it. There is the wormhole. Looks really, really good. We've not added the transition to the video, but to the adjustment layer. So that's the second creative way, adding transitions to adjustment layers. And that's really, really handy. Now, we'll go to the most common and for example, we can just go back, add an adjustment layer right here. 
and let's assume you want to achieve the same look throughout uh, maybe your, your video or whatever. So instead of doing a color grid for this, a color grid for this, or even this, all you can do is just select this, move it to where you want it to be, and then edit the color. So for example, if you wanted it to be a little bit warmer, you can adjust that and you'll see the changes happening in real time. Maybe change, bring down the exposure slightly and then maybe the brightness slightly and then we can move it. Let's say some saturation, bring it down slightly and then vibrance, just give it a slight look like that. So if we hide the track, that's the original. That's the updated for the clips down here because the adjustment layer is selected for this. So really depending on the changes you want to make, you can make your color grades or whatever you're doing identical across the board by using an adjustment layer or applying the effects to, that, to an adjustment layer and then using it over and over again uh, to achieve the same look and feel without interfering with the individual clips right about here. So that is something else that you can do. Uh, let's look at some other creative way that we can use this. Let's delete this and let's assume uh, you want to do, like do uh, the cinematic bars that you see people pull off in like videos. So uh, we've added an adjustment layer right here and let's say we go to the effects again and let's le look for crop. And then once we do that, uh, let's just give it a couple of seconds for it to pull up the crop effect. We've got a couple of options here, but let's pull this one. Drop it right there on the adjustment layer. That's the crop effect. Click on effects. And then uh, the way people pu uh, put cinematic pass, let's give this something like an 8 for the top and then an 8 for the bottom. So uh, that looks good. Uh, you can decide what you want to auto zoom. So if you do that, that is what it looks like. Blur the edges. Uh, you can make it softer. That is what it looks like. But let's assume we just want that. And then we can incorporate maybe something like a transition right about there. Pull this back and then we bring it somewhere there and then pull this back. So what we're going to achieve is uh, we come from this full blown and then play. We go into this where we have the cinematic bars and it, as you've noticed, because the adjustment layer is above this particular video, it also gives it the cinematic bars. And if you continue playing, the zoom out effect or warp effect is going to be applied because of that particular transition. And we're going to be safe because we've added or cropped our video into some cinematic bars using the adjustment layer without affecting the video clip down below. Those are some of the few creative ways you can use adjustment layers in Filmora 12. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.